Today is May 31st, and today's quote is entitled, Change Yourself First. When we change ourselves, we change our perceptions. When we change our perceptions, we change how we relate to others, and then others will respond to us in better ways. So the idea of this is, you know, sometimes things aren't working well, and so we're hoping others will change, or circumstances will change. So the idea of this is, if we change ourselves, we can change the way we see things. And if we change the way we see things, then we change the way we relate to things. Yes. And then, when we change the way we relate to things, in this case, or the way we relate, we, if we change the way we relate to people, in this case, people, not things, then naturally the way people relate to us will change. So sometimes people are responding to us, and we think they are not responding to us, but they're acting towards us in a negative way, when in fact, often, they're not initiating, but they're responding to our behavior. Isn't that interesting? He mistreated me, she mistreated me. But what we don't see often, if not always, is that they're responding to some behavior of ours, perhaps mistreatment. So, that being true, that being said, if we change the way we behave, it should change the way people respond, and thus it changes the way people behave towards us. Just like, for example, you have hydrogen, two atoms of hydrogen, one atom of oxygen, that makes water. If you change to two atoms of oxygen or one atom of hydrogen, two atoms of oxygen. It changes the composition. H2O, let's make it H1O or H2O2. Uh, I forgot my chemistry, but it's going to be something different just by changing one of the elements. You don't have to change both. So in a relationship, often all you have to do is change yourself, and that will change the relationship. The mistake that we make often is that we feel we don't have to change, or we feel we'll change when they change. And if they change, I'll change, and then we can make the relationship better. In some cases, you might be right, but if you wait for them to change, what if they don't? But if you change, generally, people will respond to your change, and they will change, or their response will be better. If you fulfill people's needs, generally they will respond and try to fulfill your needs. If you wait for them to fulfill your needs before you fulfill their needs, they may never do that. So the point is we actually have a lot of power in how we can affect other people. So if you look at your life and just question how am I relating with certain people, especially those people in which the relationships aren't good, then you can reflect, is there anything that I'm doing that perhaps is harming the relationship or causing them to act in ways in which I don't appreciate? As um, Srila Prabhupada would often instruct, if you don't like the way someone is behaving, set the example that you would like them to set themselves, to set the example that you would like them to live. And being inspired by your example, they will change. Prabhupada never said, go tell them to change. He said, set the example, they'll be inspired. And as we all know, we're inspired by association and examples. So, take responsibility in a relationship to make whatever changes you want to see in the other person, make them yourself, and consider, are you doing anything which is causing another person to act in a negative way towards you? 
Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.